Well, hello, good morning, and welcome to this presentation with Space Store. So this is part of our Florida market launch, which we are, we are going through a whole series of presentations through the remainder of this week. We um, already had a good number already reaching out to the Florida market and introducing Space Store as a new creator of workplace furniture to, to you all. And very excited to be partnering with Dino and Associates in the Florida market. So that's um, a, a very exciting new opportunity and new venture for Space Store. My name's Alex Harvey, and I'm the VP of Sales here at Space Store. And I'm joined today by Dino from Dino Associates and my colleague Gordon, who's actually giving us a tour shortly of, a, of our, or a virtual tour shortly of our New York Design Center. But first of all, Dino, could you introduce yourself to anyone who perhaps has not met you yet? Sure, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Gordon. Uh, Dino, and I'm Dino with uh, the owner of Dino and Associates, and uh, we have been collaborating with architects and designers since 2004. Uh, we are very pleased to have partnered up with uh, Space Stores and bring in that uh, West Coast vibe to the East Coast with some very unique products, uh, which I'm sure uh, you will find enjoyable in today's uh, New York Design T Center tour. Alex? That's great. Good. Thanks, Dino. And just before we, we go around the design center, I'll just give you a two minutes introduction to Space Store, just in case anyone hasn't yet met us. So anyone who's on the, the Zoom platform joining us or anyone who's joining us through the live stream on LinkedIn, Space Store are the creators of workplace furniture. That's a blend of California Cool and London Design. And, and what that really speaks to is the, um, the, the key influences that have made Space Store the company we are today not just who we are, but also our approach to how we design our products. Um, and finally, of course, the products that we produce. So Gordon will be touring us through some of the products that Space Store could be bringing to your projects and talking about some of the customization options that we have available. But that's really the background to Space Store is those two elements, the London design, our, if you like our roots and our heritage here in the London market. And perhaps I should say I'm actually here in our London Design Centre, so you're getting a, a double tour, two for the price of one um, today. So I'm here in the, in the London market and Space Store have been creating workplace furniture here for just under 30 years now. But also more recently, our approach into the US market, which started back in 2012 when we opened our first design centre in California. Um, but then that's developed in the last eight or nine years so that we're now nationally represented. We have our flagship design centre in New York and with that, that brings us straight to Gordon in the New York Design Center. So I hand over to you, Gordon. You can give us a whiz round. Yeah, thank you, Alex. And uh, welcome to the New York Design Center on a lovely, sunny Thursday. Um, just want to give you a quick tour around this design center that was a partnership um, with Space Store and Gensler based here in New York. And one of the things that we like to talk about about the design center, it is an experiential workplace. So as we go throughout the space, it's not gonna feel like your traditional office furniture showroom. Um, there's so many more elements to it that I think you'll find intriguing, you'll find interesting um, ways to divide up space, ways for personal storage, ways for collaboration. And feel free to ask any questions as we go about the product line, but I'm gonna kick off here in our conference room. Um, so one of the things about Space Store is a lot of our product is furniture built, uh, furniture style built rather I should say um, versus millwork so you'll see that as we go throughout the um, products and you'll hear me speak about it but really what that does is it allows the end user to get the product they want get the flexibility the agility um, while allowing a designer to create a beautiful space so here in our conference room we feature a few different products we've our palisades lux which is our brass palisades range. We have our Brev conference table and then our media store with the Palisades locks on top. And I'm just going to give you a push in and we'll explain this. So the neat thing about the Space Store product family, which I'd love to speak about, is the fact that you notice with the media store, it's got the Palisades Lux on top. And what this really speaks to is the way that the 
space their product lines, work together in a family. So we've got the beautiful brass features. We've got um, really nice MFC styling. There's a beautiful palette in there of earth tones. And then we have the media store, which is a freestanding storage unit. That's part of the storage wall family. So what this allows is companies to build out spaces and then reuse components later should they need to move or make adjustments. Moving on. With the storage theme products, I want to talk about one of my favorite products, the Snuggle Store. And this really embodies who Space Store is. So as we, as Alex alluded to, we started out over 45 years ago developing storage type products. Obviously storage has completely morphed over the years, going from paper storage um, to digital storage. And now in the post COVID workplace, it's gone to personal storage. So what we have here is our storage wall component. So each one of these boxes makes up different pieces that are put together. We've got a coat covered over here. We got some brochure storage over here. And then of course our snuggle store. The great thing about the snuggle store is it allows designers and companies to bring in elements of branding, whether it's through the fabric colors, whether it's through the finishes, and then also provides a fantastic spot for collaboration. Um, we've done a project here in New York with a large media company. How, one of the reasons they used it was they wanted touchdown spaces in their hallways where employees could go take a phone call, two employees could have a chat together, and it just allowed them that little bit of extra seating uh, that brings those you know, accidental conversations together where collaboration happens. So really love this product, and I think it's one of the ones that really speaks to the space their family. So as we tour around the share room, I just want to stop and uh, have a look here at a product that we developed as COVID came on at the onset of COVID. So got a phone call from a client. They were looking to be able to send some desks to their employees that were working from home in studio apartments. So in true space or spirit, we put together a product for them. And now you can actually purchase this online at our Shopify store or through your local rep. But there you have a fold up table. Again, one of the great things about it is it is really indicative of the spirit of space store, rising to a challenge, developing something that has aesthetic, but functional, functional, and also is flexible. So. It's our kit desk, and you, know, you can check that out on our Shopify account. So as we go throughout the space, I just want to, there's the streets of New York, 31st and Park Avenue South. Things are humming, taxis are moving, business is happening. So uh, anytime you want to come and join us in person, love to have you. I want to introduce you to our bleacher system. Um, here at Space Store, we talk about product in the two minute window, the two hour window, or the two day window. And what we mean when we refer to that is really product that can be user packed, moved by the facility management team, or bringing in a furniture installation team to move it. And one of the things that as we look at designing our product is can the users hack it? Can they change it themselves? And the bleachers are a perfect example of that. So what we have here is a system that works very much like Lego blocks. So I can pair them up differently, put them together, and then they clip together with a bleacher pad. Drop a single bleacher pad in there. And again, you can change it up. 
this is a great way also to bring in those different textures, colors, elements into a space, allowing users to have the ability to create a scrum space or create a, you know, a campfire setting and then move it back. So very good for an agile workplace. Moving on, we'll just touch on our Palisades. We have Palisades and Palisades is our original 32 inch wide increment modular system. Not that Palisades 2 can't be modular, but it's more built in a linear style fashion. And we'll go into that when we get to that product line. So what you have is the ability to bring a biophilia. This is our four inch weighted base. We also have a 29 inch or 34 inch um, covered base. Completely freestanding I'm not sure if we've lost Gordon. Gordon, are you still with us? Dina, are you hearing me okay? Have we, have we lost Gordon or is it my end? Yeah, no, I'm hearing you okay. Uh, Gordon uh, has frozen up, so we must have lost him. Okay, looks as though we've lost him completely. Um, so Gordon was just talking us through the Palisades family, which um, what we're we're seeing, or the use case we're seeing with the Palisades family is as a as a zone divider first and foremost. And the product was originally designed actually, um, or we originally launched actually more like five six years ago. But we're seeing that the use of those dividers has morphed. And in fact, here is Gordon back with us. So the use of those zone dividers has morphed over the last particularly the last 18 months in how people want to use Palisades as a divider between different spaces in the post-COVID world. So we're seeing the need to divide zones one from another, whether it's a team from another team, you know, a sales team from a marketing team or a, a, a particular type of workspace. So it might be a task working area from a breakout or a chill out zone, for example. Um, we've seen that as a, as a great use case for the Palisades family, but the added benefit we're seeing from many clients is the um, is the ability for those dividers to be moved and changed and adjusted in the future. So we don't have to have a fixed wall in that in that zone division. We can use a piece of furniture, which incidentally also looks very beautiful and can be used to kind of display the different um, maybe the different objects and marketing materials or whatever it is you want to to look within your. Um, within your workspace, but also you've got that ability to kind of unclip it, move it around, shift it around in the future. So Gordon, are you back with us now? Yeah, I am with you. However, I'm on my phone. It looks like the Wi-Fi has uh, taken an opportune moment to completely die. Um, I'm not entirely certain what's happening, but I'm more than happy to do this via my phone if that works. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's let's continue with the um the design to if you can do it via your phone, then go for it. All right. So I just wanted to see see if I can switch us here. So perfect. Are you seeing that? All right. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Um. So again, apologize for that. Um. Seems like IT issues seem to be the call of the day. So one of the things that I wanted to point out was our um, railway carriage product. So thank you, Alex, for jumping in about the Palisades. Uh, we'll get to the rest of the railway carriage, but while we're back here, just to point out the way that the railway carriage here has a whiteboard back in a um, shelf unit on it. So one of the things that we look at when Space Store designs product is it's kind of 360 degree view of the product. 
So being able to use it as a divider, being able to have finished panels where they're usable for the end client, that's very important. So we'll get to the row at the front of it shortly, but I just wanted to point that out. Moving on, I wanted to touch on the residence max. So this is our larger single person phone booth. It is a height adjustable table and it also sits directly on the floor. So gives a little bit more inclusivity for the users, whether it's somebody that has a disability, somebody that um, needs a little bit of extra space. We also have a height adjustable table. So as you can see, that goes up and down. And you can also hear how quiet this is and the door is still open. Um, we've got an adjustable fan and lighting, as well as this particular one is fitted out for a sprinkler. One of the neat things about this product, it is UL approved. And it also, in our Wellness Plus series, comes 99% red list free, as well as no added formaldehyde, which we're aware that's been an issue in the past with phone booths. Any further comments on this particular product, Alex? That's helpful, Gordon. Thanks. And I think what we're seeing with with many clients is the the increase in in the need for this kind of space in the post COVID workplace environment, where often people are on video meetings of of whatever type that might be, whether it's Teams or Zoom or some other technology people are using, um, and I think the hybrid workplace developments that we're seeing with many clients is going to further contribute to that. So enclosed acoustic spaces like this can help really make the workplaces of today ready for the post-COVID return to the office. Because at the moment, again, we're hearing from many clients is that there's this huge increase in video calls, but actually the workplaces of today aren't really designed to accommodate that number of video calls. So this is really about making the current workplaces fit for purpose, but without a huge construction project with all the, um, you know, the disruption, the mess, and often the environmental impact that, that has. So yeah, thanks, Gordon. Over to you again. Yeah, thank you. So moving on, I just want to touch on our railway carriages. So what you have here is our four-person railway carriage with a back and then our two-person backless railway carriage. One of the things about the railway carriage, this is typically a product that would have been done as a millwork type component. However, again, we have turned it into a furniture component to allow for ease of use and flexibility. Great way also to influence that color again. So we work with manufacturers like Chimera and Maharam to create um, these beautiful pieces. We also have the um, polished birch ply cladding. However, we can do that in a laminate if desired. And it also can come with a flat roof here or a full pitched roof. On, on the back units, we have the ability to also add some technology such as you see over there, the TV screen. So moving on, we're just gonna to touch on the locker system and I'm gonna grab the ID badge here. So this is our hot locker bank here across the back of the design center. Now I think one thing that it just shows is lockers are something that Space has done for many years and we see an increasing need for them in the post COVID workplace. Personal storage has never become more important and there's so many different ways to do it. So this particular system is showcasing the Gantner RFID networking system. So you have a USB and a light here, and then also the lock, which works with like a building access badge or also works with a app on your phone, allowing for a seamless experience. This also allows the manager of the system to see who's using the lockers, where where are lockers need it, is there a specific area of the facility or a floor that they're being required. Um, so we see we've seen quite an uptick in this in the last six to nine months. <clears throat> um, that being said, there's many other ways that we can do locks from the humble bike lock to the 
mechanical combination lock, a digital code lock. So we certainly have a plethora of different locks to use. One of the other things I want to point out is every piece of this is functional, so that plenty of storage. And these in particular are fabric wrap panels. So just a really neat way to bring in different elements through a space. Wanted to touch on our residence pods. So these are the residence work and the residence meet. The residence work is a single person um, sitting pod that you can either have sitting or standing with a glazed or upholstered back. And then the residence meet is our two person pod. So we'll just pull out here. Give you some idea of what they are. Moving on, I wanted to touch on really the centerpiece that's here in the design center and that is our courtyard. The courtyard is designed with the Palisades II family. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Palisades II, as I mentioned previously, when we were referring to the Palisades, is a half inch square iron tube system. The neat thing about the Palisades II is that it actually goes from 2D to 3D. And what we'd like to say, it really creates an architecture within architecture. So the ability to divide up a space, break up a space without demising walls, without demandable walls, to be able to create you might say courtyards or collaboration areas, collaboration hubs throughout a open floor plan. It also comes with some really nice details such as the arched opening. And then there you can see that 2D component. Here we're showcasing biophilia with the planter boxes as well as a whiteboard. And then there's some acoustic panels tucked in there. Any comments on this one, Alex? I was just wondering if anyone's um, also noticing the ceiling detail. Perhaps you could speak briefly to that as well, the uh, Palisades grid that, that's um, a feature on the ceiling. Yeah, absolutely. So the Palisade, one of the challenges from the design team when we were building this space was, can we use one of your products on the ceiling? As our ever-ingenious R&D team has come up with a ceiling-mounted Palisades. And I think the incredible thing is, is it just blends again in that family component. One other thing that I should have pointed out is the particular courtyard is not affixed a to either the ceiling or the floor. It is freestanding. However, being a California company, we do have the ability to do seismic anchoring and fastening where required. So as you can see, the use of the Palisades mounted from the ceiling, and this has now become a product that we do offer to our clients and have done several successful projects with it. So that is it for me, Alex, from the New York Design Center. I really wanna apologize again for the IT issues, but happy to take any questions. That's great, thanks Gordon. And thanks for um, flipping quickly to another solution. I think this, this is what we need to do in the, today is uh, the ability to rapidly improvise um, so appreciate Gordon. Thanks very much for the design tour. Hopefully everyone's found that insightful and had a bit of an insight into Space Store. So as we mentioned earlier, we're introducing Space Store into the Florida market. Now, Dino, if anyone wanted to, to reach out and connect, if anyone has a project to discuss or wants to know more about Space Store, perhaps you could introduce how they could find you and how they can connect. Yes, Alex. Uh, uh, look to us as your Florida resource for Space Store. And you can reach us either by email to dino at dino-associates.com or via our website, uh, www.dino-associates.com. And we'd be happy to uh, guide you through the details when it comes to Space Store. Cool. Thanks, Dino. Appreciate it. And we're excited to be 
now well and truly in the Florida market. So look forward to, to hearing from you all with projects. So that brings us to the end of today's presentation. Um, again, if any of your team, you feel this presentation or, or another presentation from Space Store would be valuable, um, we've got a number of other presentations during the week. So you're welcome to pass on the contact details, pass on the registration details so they can join us. But that brings us to the end. Thanks again. My name's Alex Harvey and thanks for joining Space Store this morning. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers and goodbye.